if you go to start and then click on all programs and go to accessories and then click on system tools you'll see this thing here called disk defragmenter disk defragmenter well what is the disk defragmenter and uh, why would we be interested in knowing about it um, when you have hard disk drives, what can happen after a while is that they can become fragmented. And this is something that happens with hard disk drives, not with solid state drives. So remember, hard disk drives are the magnetic, uh, you know, magnetic drives. They use magnetic storage to store uh, magnetic positives and negatives charges uh, as the zeros and ones. And solid state drives are, are, are quite different. So with hard disk drives, what happens is we have uh, this image here, which we've already looked at, where we have the tracks going around the platter. And then we break those tracks up into sectors. And then a couple of sectors together are known as a cluster. And that's the smallest addressable place. Those are the little cubby holes where zeros and ones can get put. Well, as we start to fill up those little cubby holes, the way the hard disk drive works is it will start, it will look for the cubby hole, which it finds first, pretty much. and uh, and it'll just stick the zeros and ones into those cubby holes. So if I was writing a file, if I was writing a file to this platter right here, I might have some zeros and ones end up in a cubby hole right here, and then it might look for the next available cubby hole, and maybe that cubby hole will be right there. And then it might look for the next available cubby hole, and maybe that cubby hole will be right there. Well, that file is now scattered in three uh, different locations. And it's going to be harder to access those zeros and ones. It's going to take longer, a longer time. So the access time is going to be slower when I have to go here and then here and then here to get those zeros and ones, as opposed to if those zeros and ones are right here, right here, and right here. So when you have a fragmented hard drive, the zeros and ones uh, for files get fragmented all over the place. And uh, when you defragment your hard drive, it kind of puts everything into uh, closer proximity. So when you go for one file, all the zeros and ones for that one file are right next to each other. And so the read-write head could gather them up with one swoop um, instead of jumping all over the place to get the zeros and ones. I like to think about fragmentation kind of like a, my garage. So this is an analogy. And if my garage is fragmented, you know, it's like I've got things in my garage everywhere. My tools are everywhere. The screws, the nails are everywhere. And, uh, you know, it takes me a long time to gather up the different things that I need to do a project. I have to find the screws, I have to find the screwdriver, I have to find the hammer, and they're all in different places. Well, if I defragment my garage, I get all the tools into the right area right next to each other. I get all the screws into one little area right next to each other. And I kind of have everything, you know, laid out in a proximity where I can access it quickly. And uh, that would be defragmenting my garage, so to speak to use this analogy. And it's the same way with hard disk drives. So if you look at Google and you go to fragmentation hard disk drive, uh, this image right here is pretty, uh, pretty good at depicting it. So here you have some contiguous files, unfragmented. Like the red file, all of the zeros and ones for that file are together. The blue, dark blue file, again, all the zeros and ones for that file together. The magenta file, all the zeros and ones are together. The lime green, file taking up several clusters, all the zeros and ones are together. But this yellow file right here, this yellow file is fragmented. Some of the zeros and ones are right there, some of the zeros and ones are right there, some of the zeros and ones are right there, some of the zeros and ones are right there, and some of the zeros and ones are right there. So if I was to defragment this drive, it would take off these zeros and ones, it would take off all the files, and then lay the files back down so that when it was time to read this yellow file, it'd be yellow, 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 and it'd be all yellow back to back, so that the read-write head didn't have to jump to different locations to get all the zeros and ones. And so defragmenting your hard drive can speed up your computer. And uh, if I went to analyze this drive right here, I would choose analyze disk, and then I would say, okay, go ahead and uh, analyze it. I guess it's doing it right now. It's looking at running 49% analyzed. So let's see what it says when it's done. All right, cool. So it's finished, and it tells me that I have 2% fragmentation. And uh, I wonder if it has any recommendation for me. I don't know. I'm not seeing if it does. But if I wanted to defragment that, I could go right there and defragment it. But 2%, I'm not worried about it. Um, 
Yeah, it doesn't say any recommendation about whether or not to do anything. Anyhow, that's what it means to have a, a fragmented hard drive, and that's how you defragment your hard drive, and now that you understand uh, what that's all about. So uh, one way you could speed up your computer is to go to Start All Programs, Accessories, and System Tools, and Disk Defragmenter, and run that, and uh, analyze your disk. And, you know, if it's more than like 10% fragmented, go ahead and defrag it. And that'll help make your computer a little bit quicker. So it's good to know about.